Welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Nika Marie, aka Neeks, and I'm here with my Blackathon TBR for you. <laughs> for those of you who don't know what Blackathon is, it is a readathon hosted through the month of February, Black History Month, and this year it's being hosted by Jesse of Bowties and Books and Lauren of The Novel Lush. I'll have both their channels linked down below so you can see the full criteria for this readathon. Both of them have videos and they're very explanatory. They're very explanatory and I hope that you'll check them out and join in. This year they have a full spectrum of things that you can interact with. So this year they have stuff you can do on Instagram for Blackathon. They also have stuff you can do on Twitter for Blackathon. And also, of course, things you can do on YouTube for Blackathon. There are two teams, and of course, I'm choosing to be on Team Sci-Fi Fantasy. Duh. I did almost choose to be on Team Contemporary just because I thought it would expand my horizons, but then I realized that I don't want my horizons expanded right now. I just want to have a good time and participate in my first ever Blackathon. Last year, I wasn't on BookTube, but I was a frequent watcher of BookTube and I loved seeing everyone's videos. This year, I'm hoping that I can join in on all the fun. I will also be doing the Instagram challenges as well, so if you're not following me on Instagram, all of those links will be down below in the description box. So, my TBR for this month. <laughs> just a heads up, I am cheating just a smidge because of the depression funk I found myself in this week. It really slowed me down, so I'm moving the book that I was reading this week to the beginning of my February TBR. Sorry if that's not allowed, but that is what is happening. So, for Team Sci-Fi Fantasy, there are four categories, all of them named after prolific, Afrofuturistic Black people that I happen to really admire. I won't even say all of them are Afrofuturistic, a lot of them are just Black people who have pushed the boundary of what it is to be creative in whatever creative space they're in. So whether they be an author, whether they be a singer-songwriter, whether they be uh, uh, an artiste of the, the drawing medium, Whatever they're doing, they've pushed the boundary of creativity and I love them for it. So category number one is named Janelle Monet, where we have to read an LGBTQIA plus novel with a black protagonist. Now for this one, oh, I forgot the book. One second. For this category, I have chosen to read Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin. Y'all knew that N.K. Jemisin was going to pop up on this list somewhere. I thought I, thought I would just start with it. So Fifth Season, I've heard, um, and I'm not through it, I've heard this has, oh, there's a bookmark. Maybe I started it. Maybe I just put that there. I don't know. We're gonna find out. Anyway, I've heard that there is a bi or pansexual character in here. There's also different kinds of non-traditional relationships, so non-monogamous uh, relationships. So I think that this perfectly fits with that category. I'm super excited to get through this book and into the ones that come after it. The second category is called Media Korafor, and in this category we have to read an Afrofuturistic book with a complex society and black characters. I have copped out, I think, maybe, I don't know. And I'm choosing to read Benti by Nedia Korafor. <laughs> so, I thought it was a good choice. I've wanted to read Benti for a while now and I think that this is a good time to read it. Since the category is called the author's name, I'm gonna be hooking into Benti and I'm really excited about it. The third category is called David F. Walker. Sci-fi fantasy comic or graphic novel by a black author with a black protagonist. Now for this one, I'm going to be rereading Two Ton Rock God by Chris Scott. Um, if you guys are in the small percentage of people that watch this channel and also listen to my podcast, you know that I did an interview for Chris Scott earlier this year. Issue 3 is going to be out very, very soon, so I'm going to reread issues 1 and 2 for this category specifically, and then read issue 3. Might have Chris Scott back on the podcast. If you guys haven't checked that out, I will put a link down in the description box for that as well. The fourth and final category is called Danielle Clayton. If you guys don't know, I'm a huge fan of Danielle Clayton. I think she's wonderful. I love her podcast that she does with Zoraida Cordova. Zoraida Cordova. I did not enunciate any of that. But their podcast is called Deadline City and it is wonderful and I listen to it. Whenever it comes out, I listen to it the following day in the gym. It is the perfect link for a workout. I'm just saying. I don't know what it is, but they're so soothing, but they also like have the best conversations. Whether you're a writer or whether you're just a, you know, a really avid reader, their podcast is perfect for you. Oh, this is the one where I super cheated. So I didn't get to really read Daughters of Henri, but I'm going to, I got about 20% through the book. And I was like, you know, I'm not going to finish it this month. Let me push it into the fourth category for Blackathon. For the fourth category, I will be reading and finishing Daughters of Henri by Rini Amayo and yeah. If not for my depression funk, I would have already finished this, but I am only like 20% through. I didn't want to like 
try to shove it in today is literally the last day of January so I was like you know I'm just gonna push it I'm just gonna push it back it's done it's happening so now it is going to be my pick for the fourth category Danielle Clayton those are my picks for Blackathon I hope that if you guys are participating that you have done this way before me uh, <laughs> and I will see you guys with my next video I'm super excited to be participating in Blackathon this year I am so stoked like you don't even know I'm so stoked last year I had so much fun watching all the videos this year I'm gonna be watching and making the videos okay and I'll see you guys next time bye